r slash ask reddit waiters and waitresses of reddit what is the most awkward couple date you have ever witnessed at work there was a couple at my work having drinks girl went to the toilet came back and admitted that she'd been sleeping with the guy's brother apparently glasses were thrown across the room and they both got kicked out a guy proposed to his girlfriend at the booth across from my friends and me at olive garden when he got down on one knee and opened the box she was shaking her head and then just stared silently. It must have been a whole 30 seconds of pure silence, but it felt like an eternity. Then, the guy proceeded to describe the ring, how much it cost, the different aspects of it, etc. Finally, the girl just went, no and the guy just sat back down and they tried to finish their dinner. I caught eyes with our server and he made the most perfect holy hell that was bad face. Jeez that was awkward. Edit. I still picture him saying my love for you is like these breadsticks. Unlimited. 3 he didn't say it. But I still picture it. I guess a husband and wife is a date. From the last time a similar question was asked. It's been more like 13 or 14 years now. I waited tables at the Olive Garden 10 years ago. Not really ducked up as much as it was funny. A guy and his wife sat down at a table and immediately started arguing. Something about his affair and how a baby from it was costing them money. Finally it culminated as I was bringing out their salad. As I walked away I heard the wife say, Well maybe if you hadn't boned our son's girlfriend and gotten her pregnant, we could afford to eat somewhere nicer than the ducking olive garden. Oh look, the highlight of my meals, unlimited ducking bagged salad. Maybe you could save up and we could go to Joe's Crab Shack for our anniversary. Asshole. IDK if this counts, but when I was a waitress at Olive Garden, one of my tables was going over their divorce paperwork. When I greeted the table I asked how everyone was and the woman said, terrible. We are getting a divorce, like WTF do I say to that? Keep the breadsticks coming then, A. Eh? Bartender at the time, not a waiter, but they were right in front of the bar. Attractive woman comes in with a very loud dude who never took off his rollerblades. Humble brags badly. Mostly just bragged he clearly thought sounded humble. Loud enough for me to hear in a bar for about an hour. Thanks her and leaves. He thought it was a date. Apparently she was doing sociological research on people who use Tinder. I was relieved. Really little guy. Maybe 5 foot 4. 120 pounds comes in with a gigantic woman. Probably 6 feet tall and easily 300 pounds. Both tatted the duck up with piercings to match. The woman orders her dish and before I get the guy's order, he says in a sexy voice, I think you want more than that, she smirks at him, says, you know I do, and orders three more entrees. This was clearly a thing for them. They seemed incredibly happy together and became regulars at my restaurant. I feel like I played a not insignificant role in this bizarre couple's eating fetish for like 3 years. Not exactly a date but I served a couple one time who had met up to discuss the terms of their divorce at the fancyish restaurant I worked at at the time. They came before the dinner rush so they were pretty much my only table. And every time I check in on them the wife was extremely angry tearful and they were bickering about holiday schedules for their daughter timeshares etc. It wasn't the end of the world but it was extremely awkward to butt in to change how their forks or refill drinks while they were so emotionally charged. Served a deaf couple having a fight. They went from both of them signing furiously to her crying and signaling to me for a stack of napkins for, I assumed, her tears. She whips out a pen and starts writing paragraph after paragraph angrily. It was awkward because I kept having to come back to the table since they ordered multiple courses and he was just eating and signing while she was hunched over the table writing away while crying. When they finally left they tipped me pretty well though so I guess it wasn't too bad was a cocktail waitress at a bar in a high-end restaurant a couple years ago. This couple comes in right around peak hours. Guy looks annoyed. Girl looks really excited. The whole time the girl is trying to talk to this guy and he's completely ignoring her. He gets a call and talks on the phone for a good 10 minutes, hangs up and starts talking to anyone around him but her. He's getting more and more drunk and starts hitting on the female bartender and eventually the cocktail waitresses, myself included, telling us he could get us all much better jobs in Atlanta. 
The girl he's on a date with has started crying at this point and once he actually notices he yells at the bartender because it was obviously restaurant's fault for her being upset. She yells at him to stop yelling at the bartender because he's been such an awful date and he goes off. Tells her he didn't even want to eat here. She should have picked a better place. And he isn't paying for her food and drinks. He then tells her that she didn't look fat in her picture and he wouldn't have asked her out if he'd known she was that big, probably met online kind of thing. She retreats to the bathroom and the guy continues to make a scene. Another girl at the bar and I go to check on her while the bartenders and manager try to deal with him. The girl is super upset and I tell her there's a back door she can leave through and I can get her tab from the bartender. I go back out and the guy had already stormed out and refused to pay, leaving his date with a nearly $200 check. She didn't have the money to pay so a couple of the bar regulars covered it. Made the whole night super awkward and stressful. Definitely one of the more memorable experiences of that place. Not technically a waiter, but I worked at McDonald's. One of the thankfully less trashy ones. And a couple came in. Woman sat down and a man tried to order. There was lots of umming and aahing at what he wanted to buy. He ordered two meals that we gave to him and he went and sat down. What followed was a 10 minute shouting match about how he wouldn't take her on a proper date and how he ducked up even a McDonald's date. Guess he ordered the wrong thing. They sat down and, from the girl's body language, you could tell she was into him. As the date progressed she closed off then sat pretty much sideways, then was playing on her phone. The body language shift occurred over maybe 1.5 hours. He didn't stop talking the entire time. She did give some nods and a hoes in response, even perked up a few times to contribute. But his monologue never stopped. I don't really know if this counts because I think they were married. At a table with two crying children. How are you doing tonight? What can I get you started with to drink? Father do you have a shotgun back there so I can blow my head off? The wife's glare at him was the scariest thing I've ever seen. I honestly hope that man is still living. I was eating at a restaurant and heard the hostess ask a couple she was seating if they were out for anything special. The husband replied, no, it's just our anniversary it has inspired my father-in-law to drop that line almost any time he goes out to eat now. I've told this one here before. I worked in a resort hotel. High end. I waited tables in the fine dining restaurant. It was pretty common for people to propose there. So much so that I had a system for the whole thing. One guy came in and wanted to do the ring and the champagne thing. And I talked him into doing a dessert alternative that doesn't result in a sticky ring and champagne on the floor. Anyway, long story short, I bring the ring. She says damn it, I've told you before I'm not marrying you. He flips. She's super calm about it and basically treats him like a child having a tantrum, which to his credit he was not screaming or anything, just very upset. He left. She ate the ducking dessert. Eventually he came back and paid and they left together. Super awkward. There was a couple sitting at the bar together. Seemed like it was a first date. Maybe after 30 minutes of them being together I'm in the back rolling silverware and the dude comes running into the back and goes. There's an exit back here. Right and proceeds to bolt out of the back door. We were all flummoxed. The girl sat at the bar alone for at least another 45 minutes before she left. I guess you could call this a couple date. I was working at a wine bar when a married couple sat down on a pretty slow night. I went over the specials and they ordered. Once appetizers came out the man thought it would be a good idea to serve his wife divorce papers. I did my best to avoid that side of the bar. I did bring out tissues for the wife who was breaking down. I ended up boxing up the dinner. The guy paid but I do not envy that ride home. I work at a dinner theater. And we usually do proposals where we set up a random draw where the winner comes up on the stage to win their prize. And are then surprised by their partner who proposes. It's usually sweet and makes everybody in the room all fuzzy and warm. This one guy wanted to take it further and requested to perform a song. He brought his own music and everything. We're pretty easy going at this job, so we agree to let him do it. We do the fake draw. The woman comes up on stage in front of a room of 400 people, and the music starts to play. Apparently this guy was a little nervous, and he compensated by having a few drinks. 
So what follows is a slurred performance of a song written by this guy, that seemed to focus on how he was sorry for cheating on this woman with her sister and at the end of it, he gets down on one knee and proposes. Usually this gets a round of applause, encouraging the person to say yes, but not after that train wreck of a performance. The poor woman was just holding her face the entire time and starts shaking her head and says no. What's wrong with you she storms off and leaves him and our stage manager on stage to a bunch of murmuring from the audience. The only thing our stage manager can think of to say on mic is well, that's that. The guy ended up staying for the rest of the show and had many more drinks. That was years ago and it still remains one of the cringiest things I've ever seen.